Hi everyone. Um, today I am going to do my August favourites. Um, I'm very sorry that I haven't put up a video in like over two weeks I think. Uh, my computer needs to be sent in for repair and I thought there's no point of really filming anything uh, as long as I don't have my computer to edit and upload anyway. So um, yeah, that's the reason. Um, I'm going to do August favourites but there are really not that many things. I know I said that on my July favourites as well but uh, this time I really mean it. Uh, I'm going to try and race through them and not um, bubble and ramble and stuff like I normally do. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, some skincare. This is the Vitamin E Skincare Hot Cloth Cleanser from Superdrug. Um, this I mentioned in my very first video on YouTube um, in beginning of June. Um, I bought this when I went to the UK and um, I've only just started using it in August so um, yeah. Uh, it's really good. I really like it. I was gonna, like I, like I said in that video, I was hoping that this would uh, compare to the Lysol, um Hot Cloth Cleanser and um, yeah I, I I enjoy this just as much as I did that. The only real difference is the smell. Um, the Lysol one has got sort of a, like a, a herby um, scent to it, which I really enjoyed. Um, and this one is more like a sweet scent. I really don't know how to describe it. I'm not very good at explaining. Um, the only thing I can say is that like this smells like something you would eat. <laughs> um, I really don't know. Oh god, if anyone knows, please let me know. Maybe I'm just completely wrong. Maybe you wouldn't eat this. <laughs> um, came with a um, muslin cloth as well, uh, which was alright. I've got loads of muslin cloths anyway, so, uh, you know, um, really good and uh, really enjoyed using it. Uh, for makeup, I've got a couple of things that I've been using now for months and months and months but I haven't mentioned them in my favourites just because I thought they were a bit boring and stuff like I use every day but I thought you know like I use these every day so <laughs> I might as well mention them. Uh, first one is a powder from Covergirl this is called uh, Simply Powder and this is a powder foundation but I use it on top of my liquid foundations um, especially the ones that don't cover too much like BB creams and um, yeah other like sheerer foundations uh, I put this on top you can use this on its own um, have tried that as well but it's not ideal for dry skin but you can make it work um, I've got the shade ivory which is the lightest shade um, maybe a teeny tiny bit too dark for me though but um, it's alright um, it's just a normal powder I don't know much to say about it. it covers quite a bit. Um, next thing is a NYX Mosaic powder in O2 Latte. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be, if it's like a blush or a bronzer. I use this to contour. Um, as you can see it's very well lived. <laughs> um, yeah, not much more to say about this one either, I don't think. It's matte, it's uh, not orange. Um, and works really well as a contour. I don't know what to say about it really. I'm trying to be quick. Um, for eyeshadows, I've used these a lot. Uh, I mentioned these in the last video that I put up, which was a haul. Um, so if you haven't seen that, you can go and check that out because I talk a little bit more about these and where they're from. Uh, they're from Gina Trico, which is a clothing shop in which is Swedish, but don't know where they got stores. I talk more about that in the other video so check that out if you want to see it. <laughs> These are really neutral colours. Uh, I really just uh, have enjoyed wearing very neutral. Um, I make up this month um, sort of like what I'm wearing now. Um, I am wearing these now. I like got the darkest one uh, all over the lid and the lightest as a highlight on my brow bone and uh, on my inner tear ducts. Uh, plus I've got MAC quarry in the crease. Um, so these have been lovely uh, and with them I have been wearing these. Um, these are by Collection 2000 but they're called Collection now. 
Uh, there's a Glam Crystal Staseline Gel Liners. I've got two of them. Uh, there's the black one, which is number seven, and it's called Rock Chick. Rock Chick? Rock Chick, yeah. And uh, that's black with silver glitter in it. And then I've got number four, Hassel, which is sort of a bluey grey um, colour, I think. Yeah, bluey grey. Um, I've had these, uh, well, I had this one for a long time. Then I bought this one when I went uh, to the UK in June. And um, I hadn't used them that much. I used this one quite a bit when I first got it, but like this one I hadn't really used um, up until now. And then I saw them on Ghost Makeup Artist's uh, YouTube um, because he was like, it's his second channel, I think. He's like doing uh, like very like little reviews, uh, short reviews. Um, with swatches and he has mentioned these because he likes them as well uh, and I thought oh I've got those so I think I'm gonna start uh, using them again and uh, it's been working really well with my sort of neutral eye black eyeliner stick a bit of glitter on top and yeah that's fine <laughs> um, you can wear these every day you can wear them like um, in the daytime they're not like too much or anything as long as um, the rest of the eye is quite neutral I find that a bit of glitter is okay. Um, I think these are the last two things. <laughs> um, in the beginning of uh, August I went away to see family and um, I managed to leave my my whole brush case at home um, which was consistent of about 20 brushes I think <laughs> that I like to use on a daily basis. I know that sounds quite a lot. Um, there was a few doubles in there though, but um, anyway, I left that at home, completely panicked, didn't know what to do. I was like, oh my god, I haven't done my makeup without brushes in so long. Um, so I got out, I went out and uh, thought I'd get something cheap because I'm happy with the brushes I've got. I didn't want to like buy something expensive um, just to use while I was there. Um, and I found a little shop that sold eco tools, um, and my favourite things from there was this. Uh, eyeshadow brush um, yeah this has been really good and uh, I've continued to use this um, like when I've come home as well <laughs> I've used it throughout August because I really like this um, more than my other eyeshadow brushes I suppose um, the other thing I picked up were, were some powder puffs um, I've also seen that on Goss Makeup Artist's YouTube channel um, where he like says that he prefers to put powder on uh, with powder puffs. Um, I've always used a brush, um, never really thought anything else of it. I've just been happy with using a brush. Um, but when like he keeps going on about how much better it is to use a powder puff and stuff like that, and he demonstrates how to use it, and uh, I thought, oh well, uh, that saves me buying a powder brush if I can um, buy this. So there's a pack of two in this. This is by Eco Tools as well. Sorry, I'm talking really fast. Um, and yeah, really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I just like um, put it on like this and sort of squeeze it. Um, you should really check out Goss Makeup Artist on YouTube. He's amazing. I'm sure you will see him anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, and then at the end, just spray your face with like MAC Fix Plus or even water, something like that. And then that takes off the powderiness and um, leaves you with a flawless look finish. That is it, I think. Very few favourites this month. But, you know, like I, I still like the stuff that I mentioned before. And I've been good. I haven't really bought much new makeup. So um, not many things to mention apart from my normal ones. So uh, thank you for watching. I'm sorry for speaking really quickly and can barely breathe now. So I hope... Oh. Hope you understood what I was saying. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye bye.